this video, you should be able to Define arithmetic means Solve the common difference using two non-consecutive terms Determine arithmetic means Define arithmetic series Solve the sum of a given arithmetic sequence Arithmetic means are the terms between any two non-consecutive terms of a given arithmetic sequence. If we have a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5 as our arithmetic sequence, how many arithmetic means do we have? Yes, we have three arithmetic means, and those are a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. Let's take a look at the given arithmetic sequence. 10, 5, 0, negative 5, negative 10, negative 15. We all know that 10 is our first term. And negative 15 is our last term. The terms in between the first term and the, sec and the last term are what we call the arithmetic means. And those are 5, 0, negative 5, and negative 10. Let's have an example. Insert 5 arithmetic means between 5 and 41. Since we are required to insert 5 terms, there are 7 terms in all. We can draw 7 squares corresponding in each term, which are a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, a sub 6, and a sub 7. Knowing that we will insert arithmetic means between 5 and 41, then we can substitute the given values 5 for the first term or a sub 1 and 41 for the last term or a sub 7 we can now solve the arithmetic means which are a sub 2 a sub 3 a sub 4 a sub 5 and a sub 6 in order to find the arithmetic means of the sequence above we need to find first the common difference there are two ways on how we can get the common difference. First is using the arithmetic sequence formula which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. Or we can use the simplified formula derived from the arithmetic sequence which is d is equal to a sub n minus a sub 1 all over n minus 1. Since we're looking for the common difference, d is equal to unknown. Also, in the given sequence, we can easily identify the first term, which is 5, or a sub 1 is equal to 5. We can also identify the last term, or a sub n, which is 41. And we can also identify the number of terms, n is equal to 7. After identifying the given values, we can now solve the common difference. Applying the first method, write the formula for arithmetic sequence. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. We can now substitute the given values. a sub n is equal to 41. a sub 1 is equal to 5. n is equal to 7. So, the resulting equation is 41 is equal to 5 plus quantity 7 minus 1 times d. We can now simplify the equation. 7 minus 1 is 6. So, we have 41 is equal to 5 plus 6d. We can now, we can now transpose 5 on the other side of the equation. So, we have 41 minus 5 is equal to 6d. Then, we, we will simplify the left side of the equation. 41 minus 5 is 36. So we have 36 is equal to 6d. Dividing both sides of the equation by 6 will give us 6 is equal to d, or simply d is equal to 6. Let's see if we can get the same answer if we will do the second method. Applying the formula d is equal to a sub n minus a sub 1 all over n minus 1. 
wherein a sub n is equal to 41 minus the a sub 1 which is 5 all over n which is 7 minus 1. Simplifying the numerator and the denominator, 41 minus 5 is 36, 7 minus 1 is 6. Then we will divide 36 divided by 6 will give us 6. Therefore, we can say that our common difference is 6. After finding the common difference, we can now solve the values of a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, a sub 6, or the arithmetic means, using the common difference. Since the common difference is 6, we add 6 in each term to get the next term. To find the value of a sub 2, we have a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 plus d, where a sub 1 is 5 and the common difference is 6. 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. Thus, the second term is 11. To find the value of a sub 3, we have a sub 3 is equal to a sub 2 plus d, where a sub 2 is 11 plus the common difference 6. 11 plus 6 is equal to 17. Thus, the third term is 17. To find the value of a sub 4, we have a sub 4 is equal to a sub 3 plus d, wherein a sub 3 is 17 plus the common difference 6. 17 plus 6 is equal to 23. Thus, the fourth term is 23. To find the value of a sub 5, we have a sub 5 is equal to a sub 4 plus d, wherein a sub 4 is 23 and the common difference is 6. 23 plus 6 is equal to 29. Therefore, the fifth term is 29. To find the value of a sub 6, we have a sub 6 is equal to a sub 5 plus d, wherein a sub 5 is 29 and the common difference is 6. 29 plus 6 is equal to 35. Thus, we can say that the sixth term is 35. In order for us to get if, we, if our answer is correct, we can add the common difference to the sixth term. 35 plus 6 is equal to 41. And our answer is correct. Therefore, we can say that the arithmetic means in the given sequence are 11, 17, 23, 29, and 35. Therefore, our arithmetic sequence is 5, 11, 17, 23, 29, 35, and 41. Since you already know about arithmetic sequence and arithmetic means, let me present to you arithmetic series. Arithmetic series is the sum of all the terms of an arithmetic sequence. It is denoted by S sub n. If we have an example of arithmetic sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, the arithmetic series is S of n is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 or S of n is equal to 42. What about if we want to find the sum of the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 1000? The fastest way is using the arithmetic series formula. The arithmetic series formula are S of n is equal to n over 2 times quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. This is the formula that we're going to use if the last term or a sub n is given. And S of n is equal to n over 2 times quantity 2 times a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. This is the formula that we're going to use if the last term or a sub n is unknown. Since in the given problem, the last term or a sub n is given, thus we can use the first formula s sub n is equal to n over 2 times quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. Let us identify the given values. n is equal to 1000 since we have 1000 terms. A sub 1 is equal to 1, since the first term is 1. And the last term is 1000, so we have A sub n is equal to 1000. 
we can now substitute the given values into equation. So we have S sub n is equal to 1000 over 2 times quantity 1 plus 1000. We can now simplify the equation. Let's start inside the parentheses. 1 plus 1000 is 1001. The resulting equation is S sub n is equal to 1000 over 2 times 1001. Then we can divide 1000 by 2. 1000 divided by 2 is equal to 500. Lastly, we can say or we can mu multiply 500 and 1001. 500 times 1001 will give us 500,500. Thus, we can say that the sum of the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 1000 is 500,500. Let's have another example. Find the sum of the 10 terms of an arithmetic sequence 5, 9, 13, 17, and the pattern continues. Since we're looking for the first 10 terms, then our n is equal to 10. You can easily notice or identify the first term. The first term is 5. We have a sub 1 is equal to 5. Also, we can conclude that the common difference is 4, since we add 4 in each term to get the next term. Unfortunately, we don't have the last term, or the last term is not given. a sub n is unknown. We can now use the second formula to answer the given problem. We have s sub n is equal to n over 2 times quantity 2 times a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. After writing the formula, we can now apply substitution. So we have s sub n is equal to 10 divided by 2 times quantity 2 times 5 plus 10 minus 1 times 4. After substitution, we can simplify the equation. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. The resulting equation is S sub n is equal to 5 times 10 plus 9 times 4. We can um, still simplify the equation. Inside the parentheses, let's start by multiplying 9 and 4. 9 times 4 is 36. After getting the product of 9 and 4, we can add 10 and 36. 10 plus 36 is equal to 46. Lastly, we can multiply 5 and 46, which gives us 230. And that is our final answer. Therefore, we can conclude that the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic sequence is 230. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something today. Please consider like and share this video to your classmates and friends. This is Sir Josh, signing off.